Here are some very important steps that you should take to get the most out of online orders. In other words, you want to go to Clover.com from your computer, from your laptop, from your iPad, from your Android tablet, and log into Clover.com. So again, I logged into Clover.com from my laptop. And once you log in, you're going to press Account and Setup. How did I find Account and Setup? Account and Setup is located at the bottom left. In your case, it may be up here or it may be up here, but look for it. So what you want to do is you want to go on the left-hand side and look for Account and Setup. And also, before you press Account and Setup or even after you press Account and Setup, make sure you choose the correct location. Make sure if you have more than one location to choose the correct one. Uh, even if you have one location, it's very important to still double check here because you may have an, uh, two locations here or the other location may have been uh, put there by accident. So choose the one that's active. Okay, so choose the correct location. Once you have done that, the first thing you want to do is press order receipts right here. Order receipts is very important. The reason being, especially for online orders, is because when people do online orders, they usually leave special instructions like extra sauce, extra napkins, or no no hot sauce or allergy to peanuts. And you want to be able to read this on the printed receipts. That's why it's very important to check this box. It's called order note. So make sure to check this box, okay? And also check the box customer information too. This will show who ordered. So you know what the person's name is that did the online order. So you want to check this box and this box. Once you have both of those selected, press save. And then once you once you have done that, you want to go back to account and setup right here back. And then once you go back to account and setup, this time you want to find payment receipts, the next one. Once you press payment receipts, what you want to do is scroll to the very bottom and check the box customer information. This will show the customer's name on the customer receipt because remember on on, on Clover, there's order receipts and customer receipt. Order receipt is for the cook to make the food or for the back end or for the front end, wherever you want that to print to. And then you have the customer receipt where you hand the customer the receipt. So when your customer shows up with his order, you can match his name with the customer. So you want to have this box checked too. Again, this is not required, but it's recommended to make, it, to make things easy for you. And order note is optional. Most merchants I speak with, they don't uh, select this box. Um, but if you want to, you can. It's optional. So if you want to, you may go ahead and do that. And once you have done that, press Save. Okay, now we have these two selected. We want to do one other thing. We want to also check Orders. Orders is also important. Uh, you want to check the box. Allow notes on orders. Uh, sometimes you may want to enable order notes. There may be different options for you. Again, by the time you watch this video, things may have changed or look different. So use your best judgment to check the appropriate boxes. So perhaps by the time you watch this video, there may be five options here. So just kind of look around and see what works best for your case. So we have allow notes on orders checked. Everything else is optional for you. I'm just doing, I'm just showing you what's best for the online orders, okay? So in your case, it could be something completely different. Now that we have taken care of that, the next thing you want to do is press business information. Remember, uh, this is something, this is uh, online ordering by Clover. This is the business hours for the smart online order. So if you want your business hours to be shown here, you want to check this box. Not shown, but used for online orders. And then scroll to the bottom and then press add business hours this is very important the reason being is because when you because when you have your business hours this is the hours your customers can order online so let's say you close on saturday put close if you close on saturday this way people can only order between these hours here okay and on saturday they cannot order online okay remember once you save this and let's suppose it's going to be a holiday or you're closed on in, in on Monday uh, in, in September or in January. Come back here and put closed because wherever these hours are, this is how your online ordering will function. So make sure to, to come back and save that. All right. So now that you have done that, you press save. Okay. Once you press save, you will go back to account and setup. 
and you will also check to make sure um, any other options that you need for your store that's enabled and if you're doing tips again do tips as well again uh, just to kind of recap we did three things we did order receipts payment receipts orders and business information make sure not to confuse it with online ordering yes this is also online ordering but that's not smart online order information this is this is a different online ordering so you want to stick with this one for your business hours okay and once you have done that you should have uh, your online ordering ready to go and be sure to watch the other videos on how to set up your printer and additional changes so you can get the most out of online orders thank you